All right, guys, this video should wake up a lot of people. Alec Baldwin ritual. Before I get into the ritual, I'm going to tell you who Alec Baldwin is. Alexander Ray Baldwin III is an American actor, writer, comedian, film producer, and political activist. He is the eldest of the four actor brothers in the Baldwin family. Baldwin first gained recognition appearing on the sixth and seventh seasons of the CBS primetime soap opera Knott's Landing. You're going to try and tell me the Baldwin family are not members of the Jesuit order, guys? Four of the brothers are actors? It's an absolute joke. It's time to bring these people down. So he was born April the 3rd, 1958, 63 years old, and of course he was born in New York. So check out this ritual. Alec Baldwin heartbroken over fatal film set shooting. Actor Alec Baldwin has expressed his shock and sadness after fatally shooting cinematographer Helena Hutchins with a prop gun on a New Mexico film set. So I got this information from the BBC because they're so trustworthy. Look, it even tells you here. More people in more places trust BBC News than any other news source. British bullshit channel. So look here, Alec Baldwin heartbroken over fatal film set shooting. They've emphasized the word heartbroken. They've emphasized the word heartbroken because it equates to 54. As you can see here, as does Jesuit order, and this was a huge Jesuit ritual. I don't even think it happened, to be honest. I think it's just more bullshit. The fatal death on the set of Rust came 201 days after Alec Baldwin's recent birthday. So like I said, he was born on April the 3rd. So his most recent birthday, April the 3rd, 2021, to this shooting, 10-21-2021. 201 days, guys. Of course, it happens on the 21st day of the month as well. 201, a huge number. The Jesuit order gets you 201. Catherine the Great supposedly saved 201 Jesuits. Jorge Mario Bergoglio, the full name of the first openly Jesuit Pope, gets you 201. The guy who resided in Suite 201 in the Vatican. Rust plot. This is a joke. Baldwin had been cast as Old West outlaw Harland Rust, who goes on the run with his 13-year-old grandson after the latter is sentenced to death for an unintentional murder. And now we have Alec Baldwin unintentionally killing somebody on set with a gun. The mockery is a joke. So Baldwin playing the role of Harland Rust. Harland Rust gets you 46 and 71. Catholic gets you 46 and 71. Alec Baldwin comes from a massive Catholic family. Look how one of his kids is called Ireland. Like, come on. So this shooting, guys, occurred on a day leaving 71 days left in the year. Catholic 71, Harland Rust 71, you have to be kidding me, you have to be kidding me, this happened on a Thursday, Thursday gets you 46, just like Catholic, a nice Catholic ritual on a Thursday, 13 year old grandson guys, there's 13 Illuminati bloodlines, and obviously, the Baldwins are members of the Illuminati. Obvious. So look at this, guys. Unintentional murder. Gets you 266. Pope Francis is the 266th Pope. Actor Alec Baldwin has expressed his shock and sadness after fatally shooting cinematographer Helena Hutchins with a prop gun on a New Mexico film set. He tweeted, yes guys, he tweeted the day after he killed somebody, he got on Twitter. He tweeted that he was in touch with her husband and had offered support. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Helena, he wrote. So Miss Hutchins, 42, was shot on the set of The Western Rust while working as a director of photography. 
dies at 42, supposedly, guys. A lot of these people don't die. It's all ritual. Jesuit, 42. Look how Jesuit's 21. And the incident occurs on the 21st day of October. Freemason gets you 42. The Freemasons and the Jesuits work hand in hand. And she dies in New Mexico. Yeah, of course she does. New Mexico gets you 42. 63-year-old Baldwin accidentally shot Miss Hutchins with a prop firearm. Did he? Did he really shoot her with a prop firearm? Prop firearm gets you 63, like Alec Baldwin, 63 years old at the moment. More importantly, prop firearm gets you 72. Alec Baldwin supposedly killed somebody with a prop firearm on a day with 72 date numerology pure. Jesuit order gets you 72, guys. And Pope Francis became the Pope on the 72nd day of 2013. Check it if you don't believe me. There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours, he tweeted. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred. Guys, the Illuminati, the Jesuits, the Masons, they own the justice system. Whether this happened or not, nothing is going to happen to Baldwin. Nothing happens to these top celebrities, guys, whatever they tell you in the mainstream media. Helena Hutchins, the girl who supposedly died on a day leaving 71 days left in the year, her name gets you 71. Like I said, Catholic gets you 71. Helena Hutchins gets you 64. Kill gets you 64. Helena Hutchins gets you 163. 163, guys, is the 38th prime, a number heavily connected with death. Death gets you 38. Murder gets you 38. RIP gets you 38, like rest in peace. It also gets you 43, like how Alec Baldwin was born on 4-3. When you type in Alexander Ray Baldwin, you get 83, which is the reflection, guys, of 38. And the word murder gets you 83. Look how it's 83 and 38. It's just a joke. Alec Baldwin was born on 4-3, which is the day we are told Jesus Christ died. And this was for sure a Society of Jesus ritual. How interesting that we're told Jesus Christ died on 4-3. And Jesus Christ gets you 43. Masonic also gets you 43. This is blatantly a Masonic ritual. So the fatal death was on 1021, like 121. And the death was one year and 201 days after Baldwin's 2020 birthday, where he turned 62. So look at the 121 and the 121. Okay? Absolutely insane. And if you look here, from Baldwin's 2020 birthday, one year and 201 days, like 121. This shooting happens on 1021, like 121. 121, guys, the square root is 11. 11 times 11 gets you 121. Pope gets you 11. It's the master number. And it's the fifth prime, like 115. And again, Masonic gets you 115. One year and 201 days is 80 weeks and six days. And I'll just confirm that for you. One year and 201 days is 80 weeks and six days. Like 86. And Alec Baldwin gets you 86, guys. Gets you 86. Alec Baldwin's 41 and 41, guys. It's the 13th prime. It's 13 Illuminati bloodlines. Human sacrifice also gets you 86. So if this person did die, it was a sacrifice. Human sacrifice gets you 86. Human sacrifice gets you 67. Alec Baldwin gets you 67. 
And sacrifice, guys. Gets you 67 as well. The word sacrifice gets you 62. And he turns 62 in 2022. Sacrifice also gets you 46. Also gets you 73. And 73, guys, is the 21st prime. This girl dies in 2021 on the 21st day of October. If you include the end date, he killed a cinematographer 81 weeks after his 2020 birthday. 81 weeks, exact, 81 weeks. Huge number, 81. There's a reason why Kobe being Bryant equals 81 and his highest scoring game is 81 points, which he got in his 666 career game. Cinematographer, of course, gets you 81. In two ciphers, guys. Also gets you 153 like Jesuit order. But do you know what else gets you 81 in two ciphers? The word ritual gets you 81 in two ciphers. And all of this here is a giant ritual, guys. See how they have to have a photo of him with a face mask. Nothing is accidental with these people, guys. I was watching an NBA game yesterday. Half of the players were wearing a mask on the side and the other half wasn't. What is this? What is this? The death also came, guys, eight weeks and one day before Pope Francis's birthday, which I'll show you here. Pope Francis' upcoming birthday is 12-17-2021. Eight weeks and one day, like 81. Pope Francis, the guy born 12-17. 1,217 is the 199th prime. 199 is the 46th prime. How many 46s? Guys, again, think about it. George Perry Floyd died at age 46, supposedly. He died at age 46. George Perry Floyd, the name given to him by the Jesuit order, didn't even die. George Perry Floyd, 201. He died at age 46. Jorge Mario Bergoglio gets you 201. The Jesuit order gets you 201. Like, it's such a joke. It's such a joke. I said from day one, George Floyd didn't die. It was all a ritual. It's so obvious now. But again, people fall for it. Whatever the media tell them, they believe. So like I said, the incident occurred on a Thursday. Lots of Catholic rituals on a Thursday because Thursday gets you 35 and 46. And Catholic gets you 35 and 46. And when you add up 35 and 46, guys, what do you get? 81. Think of all the 81s I just discussed. 35 plus 46, guys, is 81. And what about this? JFK became the first Catholic president for the United States. He was the 35th president, and he died at age 46. And now we have the second Catholic president, Joe Biden, who's the 46th president of the United States, and his son, Bo Biden, died at age 46. Like, what a joke. And check this out. Other tragic deaths with prop blank guns. In 1984, yes, 84, guys, the Jesuit order is 84, Jesuit 84, Obama born on August the 4th, like 84, George Orwell's most famous book, 1984, where he foreshadowed what's going on now. So he was a Jesuit, he knew what was happening. These Jesuits have to tell you their plans, which I've been saying. They usually do it through movies, but they also do it through books and songs. So in 1984, actor John Eric Hexham died after shooting himself in the head with a prop gun blank while pretending to play Russian roulette with a 44 Magnum on the set of the television series Cover Up. Interesting name, eh? They turned off his life machine, guys, on 10-18-84. 420 months exact before Event 201. Event 201 where they foreshadowed the pandemic, guys. Look into event 201. William Henry Gates was heavily involved in it. And William Henry Gates gets you 201. But the 420 months, guys, this girl dies at 42 years old. 
And I'll confirm it here from 10-18-1984 to 10-18-2019 when event 201 was held. 420 months exact. Jesuit 42, Freemason 42. This girl dies at age 42 in New Mexico and New Mexico gets you 42. Look how it was on a day leaving 74 days left in the year. The US's Independence Day is on 7-4. Jesus Christ in Gematria, guys. Gets you 74. As you can see here, Lucifer gets you 74. Guys, this is insane. 420 months. And that is exactly, exactly 35 years, guys. Exactly 35 years. Look how they turned off his life machine on Thursday. Thursday, 35. This guy died on a Thursday. Exactly 35 years before event 201 took place. And like I said, Catholic gets you 35. The Roman Empire exists, guys. It's the Vatican. It's the Jesuits. And then we have this. In 1993, Lee, son of martial arts star Bruce Lee, died after being hit by a 44 calibre slug while filming a death scene for the movie The Crow. The gun was supposed to have fired a blank, but an autopsy turned up a bullet lodged near his spine. So see how these were both 44. 44 Magnum, 44 calibre. The word kill gets you 44, guys. It's disgraceful. Brandon Lee's funeral was on 4-3-93, guys. 4-3. Alec Baldwin born on 4-3. See how it's all synced up, how it's all ritual? So Brandon Lee's funeral was on 4-3-93. 4-3-1993. From that date to Alec Baldwin's most recent 63rd birthday, guys, exactly 28 years. 28, guys, is considered to be a perfect number, as you can see here. 28, a perfect number. For a perfect ritual, guys. And... Brandon Lee died at age 28. And his funeral was exactly 28 years after Alec Baldwin's recent birthday, guys. This should absolutely blow your mind. Brandon Lee dies in 93. And his funeral is on the 93rd day of the year. 93 is a number heavily connected with Jesus. It said he died at the ninth hour at 3 p.m. In Mark 15, 25, crucifixion takes place at the third hour, 9 a.m. And Jesus' death at the ninth hour, 3 p.m. Like 93. Like 93. And... Alec Baldwin, born on the 93rd day of the year. Brandon Lee's funeral on the 93rd day of the year. If you use Gematria, guys, words like God's son, which is Jesus Christ, gets you 93. Crucifix gets you 93. There's loads of them. There's loads of them. And then we have these 93s here. This is simply insane stuff, guys. So this is a huge ritual. Again, did this person die? I don't know. If this person did die, it was a ritual sacrifice. If they didn't, it's just another ritual by the numbers. Again, to distract the public from all the other things that are going on in the world because they're probably going to be talking about this for the next couple of weeks. The decode's frightening, guys. It's unbelievable. 
Hope Brandon Lee died at 28 years old. His funeral exactly 28 years after Alec Baldwin's most recent birthday, who just accidentally killed somebody with a gun. And Brandon Lee's death involved a firearm. Like, what? what is this? No one should ever be killed by a gun on a film set, period. No. And they're probably not being killed. Like, who's putting bullets in these guns? Like, this is Hollywood. I know it's Hollywood, but guys, in all seriousness, do you really think they're going to allow a gun on set with bullets in it? And you really think a guy who's just murdered somebody is going to get on Twitter? Straight after? No, you wouldn't. Your head would be all over the place if you accidentally murdered somebody. So again, did it happen? I don't think so. If it did, it was a sacrifice, a disgusting one. But the more I look into this stuff, I don't think the majority of these people actually die. I think they get new identities. Miss Hutchins was flown to hospital by helicopter after the shooting on Thursday afternoon, but died of her injuries. Did she? But again, either way, whatever happened, guys, this is a ritual. The Jesuits are behind it, whether she died or whether she didn't. That's the reality of it. That's my point. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're learning a lot from my channel. I hope you can learn how to do this as well, because the more people that can see through this bullshit, the better. Because they'll lose a lot of their power, guys. But we have to do it now, before it's too late. We have to call these people out right now. If you ever see an Alec Baldwin or a Hollywood A-lister, don't go up and ask for the autograph. Call them out. Call them out. Ask them questions. Hey, are you a Jesuit? Hey, how's your relationship with the Pope? Hey, have you sacrificed anyone recently? Call them out. Because these people are sick in the head.